Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have three meal ideas for you. I hope you leave this video feeling inspired to go cook a delicious meal for your family. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time to click on one of my videos, hey, I'm Beverly and this is my YouTube channel where I share cooking and cleaning motivation. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's get into it. So the first recipe that I'm going to share with you is sugar gravy chicken. I started out by seasoning my chicken with this Cluckalicious seasoning and some chicken bouillon flavor. After you season your chicken, you can heat some olive oil in a pot over medium heat and then go ahead and add your chicken in and brown it really well on both sides. After you brown your chicken, you can remove it from the pot and go ahead and add in one chopped onion, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of water to get the browning up off the bottom of the pot. After you've cooked your onions down a little bit, you can add some more oil and two tablespoons of sugar. If you want it to be less sweet, just add in one tablespoon of sugar. Two makes it pretty sweet, but that's how we like it. So you want to let those onions brown until they're almost burnt, but not. Like you want to come in at the last minute and save the day. Um, I let mine get to a really dark brown color before I come in and add some water. It just makes a really good gravy. Then you can go ahead and add your chicken back in and just toss it around and get it coated in that dark brown color. So then I added in about half a cup of water and I kind of stirred it around and pulled up some of the browning from the bottom of the pot. Then I put the lid on and turned the heat on low and just let that cook for about an hour. Then when it's done, you can just go ahead and serve it over some rice or it would probably even be good over mashed potatoes. And this time I served it with green beans, but it goes well with pretty much anything. The next meal that I'm going to share is a roasted pork loin. So I started out by just rubbing some Dijon mustard all over the pork loin. And then I'm going to season it with the same brand of seasoning I used for the sugar gravy chicken. But this one is called Brisket Magic. Um, I will try to link these in the description box below because they're really good. I like the Brisket Magic on brisket obviously, but it's also really good on pork too. So while you're seasoning your pork loin, you can have your cast iron skillet 
heating up um, with some olive oil in it. If you don't have cast iron, you can use any heavy skillet that's oven safe. And then go ahead and start browning your um, pork loins on both sides. This pork loin came in a pack of two, but obviously if you just have one pork loin, that's fine. So while that's on the stove, you can put some olive oil and black pepper on some diced potatoes and just mix it up really well. And then you can go ahead and put that into the skillet with the pork loin so that whenever you put it in the oven, your potatoes will roast with the pork loin. Before I add the potatoes, I add a little bit of olive oil and water to the skillet and then I toss the pork loin around to pull up the browning from the bottom. So after you add the potatoes, you can go ahead and stick it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. And then after that 15 minutes is up, you can pull it out and add some butter and then cook for 8 more minutes. So while that's in the oven, I cut up some zucchini and rubbed it with olive oil and Cajun seasoning. And then I put it in the air fryer at 350 for about 8 minutes. So for this lasagna, I use one pound of Jimmy Dean's maple sausage and one pound of ground beef chuck. I seasoned it with some Tony's and browned it all down together. I use one and a half cans of pasta sauce for the meat and then I take the other half of a can and pour it in the bottom of my pan and then on top of the lasagna. I just layer my lasagna with the meat sauce, some shredded Italian cheese, and shredded mozzarella. I don't use cottage cheese, but obviously if you like it, you can put it in there. The thing that makes this lasagna so good is the Jimmy Dean's maple sausage. You may be kind of skeptical to put it in there, but you will not regret it. It's so good, and it's definitely not too sweet. It's like the perfect amount of a sweet and spicy. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already a subscriber. Also, if you make any of these meals for your family, don't forget to tag me over on Instagram. I'll see you next time. Bye.